Good morning, students. Today, Monday, November 1st, uh, we are going to start talking about motion and forces. <coughs> As it says here, it's probably one of the most important areas of discovery that, and understanding that Isaac Newton brought to the world. Uh, I think it's safe to say that because of him, we know or knew long before we were able to go into space, we started being able to calculate what it would take to get into space. And uh, I, I always like to bring up uh, a rough fact, if you will, that uh, rockets to get into space get up to 15,000 uh, miles per hour. That's really, really fast. And Isaac Newton, uh, in his studies of gravity and um, motion and forces, figured all that out, um, roughly. So it took centuries for us to come up with the technology, which is like how to do it. Uh, like what I'm saying is Isaac Newton figured out how to do it, but uh, or figured out what it would take to do it. Um, but it took uh, civilization, you know, a few centuries to figure out rocket technology, a way to accelerate something enough to reach that speed and escape Earth's gravitational pull. But anyways, your mission today is to do a search for motion and forces key terms. So you could just copy that, go to the internet, hit paste. And as you can see, I've already clicked on this link. And voila, you know, there's plenty of resources out there, uh, and you could just as well go with this. This looks pretty good. Uh, any any list of uh, motion and forces key terms is going to be, uh, while anybody could put it together, they could be morons, they could be geniuses, uh, they're going to be pretty much in the ballpark. So let's just use this, and then I want you to go to Quizlet. And by the way, you could use uh, this or some other variation of it, uh, like I said. And let's uh, join Quizlet. It's free. Uh, if you're not aware of Quizlet, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of students around the planet are using Quizlet to study for tests. And uh, you, you could easily find motion and forces uh, Quizlet sets study sets made by other students, but today you're going to make your own. So first, don't do, um, well, free trial, I don't know, don't pay for this, whatever you do. I actually do because I'm a teacher and I use it for uh, some of the premium features, but you should be able to join Quizlet for free. If it ever prompts you to pay or, you know, sign up for extra Anything that asks you for money, just back out of it. Don't leave the site, just back out of that prompt. Uh, uh, you're probably aware that um, sites are getting pretty tricky. Like they'll have a prompt that pops up that says, okay, it's time to, you know, start your, start paying for this. And all you have to do is just X out of it and keep using it. So please use that technique. <coughs> so I'll go home. I guess I am home. Uh track how your students uh, I don't need to do that let's do create so create study set and uh, see here it's trying to get me try it for free yeah I don't, I don't even know what that's talking about I don't care so what's this study set motion and forces and uh, I'll call mine example because I've got some like actual study sets and you can import import from Word. So I guess if you were clever enough to save this into a Google Doc, you could copy the whole thing and paste it into a Google Doc. Then you could just import and it's pretty handy. But if you're not savvy with that, then let's go control C. I just double clicked that word to grab the whole thing. And then I'm going to paste the term here. And then I'll go back over here and grab the, <coughs> the definition the definition here <clears throat> and you can even put images so uh, it's pretty cool now let's see whoops uh, reference point I guess that's a good one and then paste the definition copy 
paste. You just keep going and until you have all of them transferred in there. I'll do one more just so I have at least three for now. Uh, I'm only stopping because I don't want to have you watch me do this entire process. So let's say that that's, um, pretend that that's done. And now I've got, uh, I don't need to do this. Let's just uh, yeah, X out of that. So now I'm going to study these flashcards. There's all these different activities and I want you to try them all today. So if you just do the flashcards, you think to yourself, okay, motion. And I would actually like to start with the definition. And then I think it's easier to start with this and then go, oh yeah, motion. Because then you only have to guess a single word. So let's see if it'll let me, now it's making me start with the term. But anyways, study the flashcards till you have a rough idea. And then let's try learn. Welcome to learn. Practice. Okay. So it says it's basically multiple choice. And let's say that we continue, we finish that. Let's go back home. Oh, I shouldn't have gone home uh, there. I should go back to this. So you do learn and then you do write and it tells you, I like this one because it gives you the definition and all you have to do is think of the word. So uh, the state in which motion, is that what that is? I'm trying to hurry. So I know you guys' time is limited, but let's uh, say that we finish that, then go to spell and then go to test, then go to match and match is fun. If you haven't ever done this before, match is pretty fun. Start the game. Basically you have to match a uh, place or object used to comparison a uh, reference point probably. And then state, which uh, 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 motion and then meter boom. So you could play again. You get, uh, there's a leaderboard and all that sort of thing. Um, let's go back to, the list and then gravity is pretty cool and on gravity I want you to start with the yeah start with the definition that way all you have to do is write the term and what happens is these um, oh it's going backwards yeah I don't want it I don't want it to have the uh, let's go back to gravity I thought I did it right let's see start answer okay answer with the term yes that way you're all you're doing is writing one word you don't want to do it the other way because if you don't write the entire definition correctly spell it all you get it wrong a place or object used for okay reference point reference point and you got to type before it hits the bottom or you lose so it's pretty fun and that's your job today is to Start learning about motion and forces by creating your own Quizlet study set and then trying all the activities in it. Have fun. Like and subscribe.